Yeah. I'm out of breath just thinking about talking. I feel like I'm in front of a class. All right, my name is Than, and short for Nathaniel. I am a boy, I am 24. Um, wow, this really is like being in front of class. All right, why am I here? I, <laughs> I like makeup. <laughs> okay, so. I got a Sephora gift card for Christmas and I ordered the Hourglass Cosmetics ambient lighting mini sculpture palette because it was an extra 20% off sale. It was a really good deal. Anyways, so I'm gonna be playing with this. Oh God, that is not good. <laughs> now I see why people cover up their mirrors. <laughs> All right, well, yep, I'm gonna use this. I got a fresh Real Technique sponge just for this special occasion. It's pre-moistened. And I'm either gonna go in with the new um, Chanel Le Beige or the Dior Forever. And the Dior Forever is my favorite all time foundation. Pay no attention to my thinning hair. <laughs> I'm using my computer, by the way, below me as a monitor. So, and I'm filming on my iPhone. <laughs> Um, so that's why I've, I've probably been looking at down at my computer screen the whole time. My computer screen. Anyways, okay. But I have my trusty kimchi mirror that I bought specifically for filming. Here we go. Dior. This shit is amazing. Anyways, all right, glasses off. Blind. This foundation is super long lasting. It has like, hundred shades not really like 40 even more in the UK for some reason and I probably shouldn't be dotting it around like this but it is tempting because that's what all of the <laughs> beauty gurus do but that's not usually how I do it usually I just work in sections <laughs> all right whatever I'm gonna start blending oh no I shouldn't have applied it everywhere also, you probably can see I have lots of rosacea. So this foundation claims to be full coverage and it definitely is not because nothing on me is full. Well, on me, it's not full coverage. Let me do this side. <laughs> I hate myself. Oh God. Oh, my bangs always come undone from my clip. Fuck, what is happening? Come through a kimchi mirror light. <laughs> I need to remedy this. <laughs> oh my god. The picture of health. I already have so much on my hand. Oh, this foundation oxidizes. So get a shade lighter than what you usually would. I have the lightest shade. It's like called zero, zero. I feel like I've been blending for like 10 years. I never blend this long. Okay. Oh, I forgot my ears, but I have more. Oh, I need to do my neck. I can never shave this part of my neck right here. Cause I use an electric shaver and it doesn't, and it just doesn't catch it. I really hope my parents can't hear me talking. I'm just shy. <laughs> and I don't know if I've ever blended more than this, ever. I gotta be blended. You don't have to blend this that much. I just, I feel like I just made this look like it's so hard to blend, but it's really not. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna grab a kids here. I grabbed three. <laughs> Pat McGrath. Heart Shape Tape, of course, and Urban Decay. Stay naked, which is good. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. Tart. I'm looking at my screen the whole time that I'm filming, but okay. But it's isn't it strange if I look right at you? <laughs> okay, all right, mirror. <laughs> okay. Fuck, okay, wait, 
kimchi. God, I feel like this is gonna be all over the place. I feel bad for me later editing this. I feel bad for me right now. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I guess, I, oh, that looks weird. Hold on. Well, it's all gonna look better once I put all my powders and shit on. We're gonna go in with this. Yay, I love this. This is the Gucci face powder. It's so cute. It's in the best packaging ever. Usually with this, <clears throat> sometimes I'll go in with like, this is the, um, God, Dusty. I don't use this brush too much, but if I do use a brush for like under eye powder, it's the Sonya G um, Designer Pro. Yay, so beauty guru, look at that. Eek. All these brushes are dirty. <laughs> I need to clean my brush, but I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> because I usually use a sponge, okay. <laughs> a thorough amount <laughs> right here and it's very nice it's just so nice this is a pigmented powder i feel this is again the lightest shade god i am literally paper but it's so nice i don't know again it has that like fucking dior kind of scent like all Fucking all those brands like Givenchy, Dior, Gucci. What's more? I guess Armani. They all smell like the same. Like this floral, bougie scent. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not terrible, but if you don't like scents, don't buy any of this shit. <laughs> and I usually put it like all over the center. Oh, I guess I did say I have rosacea, but my skin is sometimes sensitive because of that. And it's dry everywhere except super oily, like literally, well, like I guess my forehead, but I don't really concern myself too much with my forehead with makeup because it's always covered by my bangs. So yeah, I don't really bother. It doesn't really bother me if I get oily on my forehead, but I get super oily on my nose and I don't have contacts. So I'm always wearing my glasses and they always leave the glasses marks like right here or sometimes here too, if the bottom of my glasses are touching the area of my cheek. It depends how much I'm smiling <laughs> because my, <laughs> my cheeks push my, or you know, my cheeks push against my glasses and make it indented. Anyways, but I also do some right under my like right here under my cheekbone as like a reverse contour kind of thing. I'm gonna go in with contour too, but. Wow, why is it, what is happening? Why am I having a bad makeup day my first <laughs> filming a video? Anyways, now I'm gonna do the other side. Oh, fuck, I have something. My eyelashes shed like my fucking Labrador. All right. <clears throat> like, look how fucking red I am still. What am I gonna do now? Okay. Oh my God, what is happening? All right, I also, let's do brows next. <laughs> Just going a little crazy with the order here. Why does I feel like this looks so bad right now? What is happening? Okay, all right, brows. This is the um, Benefit Gimme Brow. This is like the first makeup item I ever bought was this, cause my friend pulled it out at work and I was like, wow, what is that? 
probably knowing full well since I'm obsessed with beauty videos, probably being like, I know exactly what that is, let me use it. But yeah, so just a little boy. Oh fuck, okay, no, nope, everything's good. <laughs> okay. God, I should put my glasses on sometime soon. All right. Yeah, knocking things over, running into things. Even with my glasses on, I do that because I'm so fucking clumsy, but. Anyways. Ugh. God, I sigh with every other breath. Okay. <clears throat> that looks a little better. <laughs> all comes together with the brows. <laughs> Let's do contour. So this is a Korean brand, Romand. They're amazing. They have lots of different kinds of products and they're affordable and they're cute. I don't know, this is like $12 or something. And it's a perfect fair contour, contour color. This looks so like, hold on. I'm like so much more yellow back here. And then when I put my hand and stuff, I feel like this is more accurate color, the closer I am. But anyways, this is a really good contour color for really pale skin. Cause you can kind of mix the two, which is kind of how it's supposed to be. Like how they advertise it is you do a little swirl. But I've been really getting into Fude, which is Japanese makeup brushes. And this one is from Shakuda and I got it on Amazon. And it's just like an angled cheek brush. And I believe it's just goat hair. Probably Saigoho, but could be Sokoho. Saigoho is softer, but a little bit, it's more expensive. And Sokoho is a little bit cheaper. I think Sokoho is from the back of the goat and Saigoho is from the neck, which I guess is softer hair, something like that. I don't know. God, this is kind of hard to do with this. Okay. Oh God, I'm blinded. <laughs> There's too much light. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Okay, fuck. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> okay. All right, I can do this. Okay. I've always wanted to contour because I have a giant ass face. But I don't know, I just felt like I wasn't doing it right for the longest time. I just fell into this KBD rabbit hole and found all these really pale contours that would be like subtle and soft on me, I think. Instead of a like super warm yellow contour, it's very cool. Like cool neutral, I feel like, yeah. Recently, my mom goes, did you lose weight in your face? I said, nope, I just started contouring. <laughs> and really with this brush, you're supposed to go like in that direction, like go with the angle, like swipe it like that. But I don't know, whatever, right? Just put it on. <laughs> Damn! Look at me! Oh my god. Okay. I hope the audio is okay. I have the fan on because I can't stand the silence. I have a fan on 24 7, 365. One, because I'm sweating. Two, because, yeah, like I said, I need noise to sleep, to function, to try to not feel so alone. <laughs> okay. Oh, and this is what I do. <laughs> I'll take this big ass brush and whatever contour or whatever bronzer, just like literally just swipe it across my whole eye. Which I know, revolutionary tip, <laughs> but okay. And I just started doing eyeshadow stuff. Like, I don't know, definitely in 2020, but I started buying eyeshadow before that because because I just always wanted a Pat McGrath palette. I know the first eyeshadow palette that I buy is the most expensive on the market, but I don't know. I was always so fascinated by, you know, the subliminal or the first one, Sublime. It's with the blue. That blue fucking ruined my life. 
Okay, they are beautiful though. All right, so this is the Romand contour thing. If you just look up Romand, the brand, contour, it's R-O-M and sign N-D. And you can get this at um, Olive Young, which is a huge retailer, maybe the biggest retailer of um, skincare, makeup, cosmetics, you know, all that shit in Korea. But they have a global site now that launched like recently, oliveyoung.global or something. And they always have really good deals and it's free shipping over $60. So, and it's fast shipping too, even though it's from Korea. Okay. And here's a collection of some of my brushes that are sitting here right now. So I'll do a video talking about brushes and stuff sometime probably. If I don't cringe too hard while editing this. <laughs> okay. So, hmm. Oh, cause I was just talking about Romand. I'll talk about their lip tints for a second. So I've loved Korean lip tints for a few years. I've only tried before this Peri Para, which that might even be Japanese, I'm not sure. But I loved the Peri Para Ink Area Velvet tints. And they're like, just a really interesting formula. Very airy. <laughs> but this is the Juicy Lasting tip. And there's a hundred million colors. I have a bunch of them. They have like these mini sets, again, on Olive Young that come with two of the Juicy Lasting tints and then a matte, like, I think it's called the True Velvet or something tint. But so this is Fig Fig. This one is like MLBB, <laughs> my lips but better, as they say. But I'll just put this on cause it's cute. And Juicy Lasting, are these lasting? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They have a newer formula that is the Glasting Water Tints, like glassy. And those I feel like stain more than this. Yeah, so, you know, they come off a little bit. You know, they're tint. I'm not really a lipstick kind of boy, so I like more sheer. <laughs> my teeth are so fucking yellow, but my sister also got me whitening strips for Christmas so soon. <laughs> that will be remedied. <laughs> now, let's try out this hourglass thing. I love their ambient powders. I have a big one of the Ethereal Light, the finishing powder. And I'm obsessed. That fixes everything in makeup, any makeup mistake. And I got this when it launched because I always regret not buying these holiday sets. And I kind of especially regret that I didn't get last year's because it's super pale. This one's kind of like medium. I don't know, like it works on me and I'm, super fucking pale, so I feel like uh, they just need to get their shit together and release multiple ones every year. I don't know, it just doesn't make sense that their powders don't have a bigger range because all of their foundations have really good shade ranges and they have a really loyal <laughs> consumer base of people of all skin types and tones, so I just don't know why. Like, anyways, Hourglass, expand your things your shade range. Okay, so let's go into this. So, let me compare them. So, okay, what are we talking about? Well, I have this open in front of me. So we're gonna go on with this. I feel like this bronzer is gonna end up being too golden for me, but we're gonna just see. Okay. So actually, why don't we start there with the bronzer then? I'm gonna go in with, let's use this. This is the Cheek Highlight Brush, the Z something <laughs> from Chikahodo. Chik, Chik, Chikahodo. <laughs> All right. And I guess, I don't know, I'm not like a bronzer like expert, look how. Okay, hold on. All right, thank you, alligator clip. All right. I feel like right here. Yeah, this looks right. <laughs> Again, I'm not really... Oh, so, and this is squirrel, I know, crazy. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, that's bronze. Let me get here too. Is that orange? It's okay. We still have finishing powder and blush, so that's gonna change everything. Mm-hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> well, I'm gonna commit. Or should I do the other bronzer on the other side? Mm, no, we're just gonna stick with this because it's new to me. I feel like that looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna finish. We're gonna go all the way. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a shit ton of powder at the end and blur it all out. Okay. Yeah, this totally looks unnatural, but <laughs> at least from what I'm seeing right now, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, now let's try this blush. What is the name of this blush? What is the name of everything? So, the bronzer is Golden Bronze Light. The blush we're gonna use is Mood Flush. So this is basically the same brush, but it's just a little bit fatter, a little more thick. Okay, so yeah, this is again, the Chico from the Z line from Chikahoto. Okay. And these are kind of like little baby pans, but. Actually, you know, from here, this bronzer is kind of nice, but all right. So I used to be completely against blush. This is me now talking directly to you <laughs> instead of talking to myself the whole time. <laughs> but I used to, um, <laughs> I used to not like blush because of my super rosy, rosy, rosacea cheeks. Like I always thought like the whole point of putting on foundation for me was to cover up all the redness. I don't know, I just discovered blush and I used to be so against it and now I have like 30 blushes and it's great. All right, anyways, so. God, I love blush. Oh, I just went to the bronzer, it's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna put more of the blush on. <laughs> wow, I put a lot. <laughs> it's okay, I love a lot of blush. Damn, well. <laughs> So these can be pigmented <laughs> if you want. But I just, I fucking love blush, God. I look insane. That's okay. Okay, wow, I really, okay. <laughs> Put a little across the nose. Let's go in with the Sonia G Smooth Buffer, aka Magic Eraser. It's amazing. It's a mini version of her face one, which is just like a mineral powder like buffer. It's so good. It's just, it's so good. You, it's, you, you just need it. <laughs> this is something definitely you just need. It's psycho goat hair, so I mean, you know, not really vegan friendly, but whatever. I'm just gonna get a shit ton of this powder on here. And then let's see what this looks like on camera. Cause I feel like in person it always looks like it erases it, but. It just feels unnatural to be looking straight into the camera because it's like I'm looking at nothing. But when I look down at myself, it's like I'm kind of talking to myself. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to this though. Okay. So I feel like it just kind of diffuses everything. Like, look. I mean, it's still like I probably put on too much, but I don't know, I like putting on a lot. <laughs> I like a lot of makeup. <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> to determine if I put my brush in the highlighter just now. I put that all over my cheek. Well, it's okay. 
we're just gonna keep going into the finishing powder. God, it's so much easier to use the big pans of the like the ambient lighting powders come in this huge pan normally and bigger than oh I don't I don't have one <laughs> I thought I brought it but bigger than this size anyways but the, they have their individual blushes are a little smaller that's that's what I'm talking about okay like the individual blushes are <laughs> here I go <laughs> are bigger than this but smaller than the actual like full-size ambient lighting powders is someone coming maybe not I already know I love this highlight because I love the ambient stro palette or whatever this is like the best this is the Wayne Goss airbrush which is a super cheap, it's like 30, well, I mean $30, but for like Japanese brushes, for food egg, 30 bucks isn't too bad, especially for squirrel. Am I like blown out? Maybe my lights are too bright. I wonder if this is a slightly different formula than the one in the palette. It looks kind of a little different, I feel. Hmm. I don't know, actually. I mean, I've also just never seen the other ones, like, in front of lights like this. And I'll show you. Maybe we can see. Well, no, they look about the same here. Let me put this brush down. So, yeah, I feel like they have like the same finish. And these are the metallic strobe. There's another one that's in like a different formula that's in the bigger palette. This one here is a different formula. This one's a little bit softer, I guess. It's not as like shiny, but I definitely prefer the metallic strobe to the, okay. Wait, I didn't put highlight on my nose, I don't think. Or did I? I don't know, I guess I'll find out. Looking back. Oh God, shedding. I definitely did put highlight on my nose, <laughs> but we'll just put a little bit more. Okay. Chin. Yeah, that Juicy Lasting Tint is cute, and I love them. I have them in a million colors, but they don't really like, the juice does not last very long, I'll say that. So we're gonna go in with the Kosas Wet Lip Oil over top. This tastes so good. It's just like classic, like vanilla sugary. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Damn, yeah, I don't know about this bronzer. I feel like I did too much. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, maybe I'm beautiful. <laughs> Ever. I do my makeup so much faster than this. Ugh. I will say, sitting in, <laughs> continuing to sit in front of this is getting a little easier as time goes on. <laughs> I didn't do it evenly. 
Okay. See, like this seems wrong. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I got this from Selfridges because, so, okay, so Selfridges is like a UK retailer or whatever of all kinds of shit, but they have lots of luxury makeup and stuff that is cheaper to buy on their site than it is in the US. Like the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the US is like 64 bucks, but on their site it's like 44 or something. So it's like $50 shipping for the year or it's $30 for like one time or something, but it's super fast. So it's just, it's worth it to get the, um, the $50 a year shipping because you save so much money on products that are usually so much more. So that's like, like, that foundation is so good and it's $20 cheaper if you get it on that site, so it's worth it, trust me. Let me look at myself. Yeah, I don't know, this, I think, I don't know if bronzer is my thing. I kind of want it to be my thing, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm suited for it. All right, so yesterday when I was filming. When I got to the end of my look with my eyes, um, my phone ran out of storage, so that didn't record. So now I'm gonna redo that today. <laughs> okay. But first I need to do my base and stuff again, so I'm just gonna do exactly what I did yesterday, pretty much. I might just, I don't know, I might try to go less heavy <laughs> with the bronzer and blush, we'll see what happens. But I'll probably just speed through this part here. Um, today's a little different though because oh fuck I should I should just be blending okay but but because well one I have a candle lit in here and two I added my ring light above me so that might fill in some of the shadows I was getting yesterday or not I really don't know I'm a photographer but I didn't learn that much lighting stuff <laughs> so whatever. I also wanted to note that because of my rosacea, when I'm blending, like on camera, when I was editing last night, I noticed that it looks like kind of unblended here, but it is blended <laughs> on my skin. My rosacea is just patchy, so I mean, my, my, you could even say like my skin tone is just like not, it's just, it's uneven, okay? I have an uneven skin tone. <laughs> God, all right. Why do I already look better today than yesterday? What's happening? Did I lose weight in my sleep? <laughs> I feel like I look way less chubby today than yesterday. What the fuck? Okay, all right. I'm doing it a little different today. <laughs> I'm also gonna try to like put some here to brighten up this part and conceal some of that redness. The reason I usually don't like putting concealer all over my face is because it just looks, especially this concealer, it looks so dry, but it does have good coverage, so.
quit needs a refresh. I used to have a quiff and people would tell me that I looked like Chris Colfer from Glee. And I used to shave my widow's beak <laughs> just for a few months in high school <laughs> when I had the quiff. I don't know what I was thinking. Again with this clip. Like I want I to have a cute little bang moment, but. <laughs> okay. Gonna go, I am gonna try the bronzer again, but I'm gonna go very light and I'm gonna tap off. And that's this golden bronze light from the hourglass thing again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Woo! Jesus Christ. I am clumsy. Maybe that's what I should name my channel, Clumsy Makeup. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stop there for the bronzer on that side because I don't wanna go, I don't want it to be like too crazy. The blush I still might go crazy with, but cause I do like heat. I just don't know if I like the heat on my cheeks from the bronzer. I think that already looks so much better than yesterday. And what I was saying yesterday about the pan sizes. So these are like their mini sizes in the quads and the six pans. And then I have one of their single blushes here. So this is the size of their single blushers compared to the mini pans. And then also I was talking about the full size ambient lighting powders. So this is the blush compared to the full size of this powder here. But damn, I don't know. <laughs> I'll go to the other side. Yeah, I can see it now. I'm gonna go to the other side before I go in too crazy. God, shedding, oh my lord. Okay, so now I'm gonna do finishing powder. And this one here, it's like, okay, it works on me, but I'm gonna go with the ethereal light instead, the single. Cause they do the same thing, but this is just easier to get into. <laughs> I do wanna get Sony G's face one, which is just a bigger version of this, but it's been out of stock forever. And of course, every single beauty blogger, YouTuber, guru, influencer that I watch loves the face one. So when this came out, I was like, I need to get this because it's the only option. Yeah, I for sure need to get a monitor over there because I can't be looking down like this all the time. Cause I know I hate when other YouTubers do that. <laughs> it's such a beginner fucking motif. Damn. Am I stunning? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, eyes. So it cut off like right around here. So I was gonna review this little Bobbi Brown longwear cream shadow stick in golden pink, but I don't know. This just wasn't the tea, shall we say? And, ah. oh, but 
I'm just gonna go in with my everyday fave, <laughs> the Tom Ford Soleil Diver from the 2019 holiday collection last year. So usually I just take one of the these three shades, put it all over my lid, and that's with any shadow. I use like one like medium depth brownish color, either cool, warm, neutral, whatever, it doesn't matter. I put it all over. And matte, satin, metallic, you know, whatever. Because I just, as long as I have like a deeper color over the whole eye, I use then like a lighter glittery shimmer on the inner corners. And I want to play with more fun colors, but I hate mascara and the base of my lashes are like blonde. So whenever I put like a really dark color or like a blue or green or whatever, that's like dark, there's like a gap in between my lashes and the shadow. So when I use a color that is closer to like a skin tone, it blends right in and that line doesn't really like become as obvious. And yesterday I used the Juicy Lasting Tints for Roman and I also mentioned the Glasting Water Tint, which is this. This is the shade number four, Vintage Ocean. Okay, so I think this is my finished outcome for my first look, for my first video. That's cool, maybe I'll try to. Watching. Um, once again, I'm Than, Sherp Nathaniel, just a young gay man who wears makeup every day. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>